Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. US markets continue to rise, underpinned by strong earnings numbers. Results from the reporting season so far have seen over 80% of US companies beating expectations. First quarter earnings are now on track to increase by 4.7% from a year ago. The S&P 500 rose 0.32% overnight, the Nasdaq Composite added 0.35% and the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed 0.38% higher. In company news, Tesla popped more than 15% after clearing a key hurdle for a full self-driving technology in China. Apple climbed around 2.5% following an upgrade from investment firm Bernstein. Decipherer Pharmaceuticals is set to be acquired by Japan's ONO Pharmaceuticals for approximately $2.4 billion in cash with a consideration of $25.60 per share, representing a premium of around 75% compared to Friday's closing price. Domino's Pizza rose more than 5% after reporting better than expected earnings. Apple, McDonald's, Coca-Cola and Amazon are all expected to report earnings this week. Of more than the 46% S&P 500 listed firms that have posted results so far, about four out of every five have surpassed expectations, according to FactSet. In economic news, investors are also focused on this week's Fed meeting. The Fed is set to release its latest interest rate announcement on Wednesday. While the central bank is widely anticipated to keep the borrowing costs unchanged, investors will still closely monitor the post-announcement press conference with Chair Jerome Powell. Turning to US sectors, the best performer was consumer discretionary, which closed up 2.03%. The worst performing sector was communications, which finished 2.06% lower for the day. Turning to domestic markets, the ABS retail data for March is due out today. Forecasters expect a 0.2% month-on-month rise. A stronger retail number would place additional pressures on the RBA's inflation outlook and ultimately its rates policy. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.2% gain. Thank you for listening.